I suffer from social anxiety, but in, in a group setting or something that where I feel I know I, some, I know something about, then I'll talk like that, you know, and, and to hear people taking it on board um, has been very, very um, empowering, I suppose. I would say it gives you a chance to rediscover your potential. Anxiety attacks have started happening. Um, uh, I'd started self-medicating to get through that. At that time, I was dependent. The group sessions that I've taken part in at the actual college, loved it straight away. And the whole thing's just given me so much more of the confidence that I completely lost. I think it's probably come a lot through about a year now that I've been coming to the recovery college. Yeah. It's called uh, Emotionally Unstable Personality Disorder. It means is um, you're a little bit more sensitive um, with your emotions. At the recovery college, I go to something called Journeys Through Film. It's helped me get back into my full-time job now as well. There's something for everybody in there. You, what you get, you get a, uh, a brochure with all the different courses in. Don't be afraid to go to the sessions because once you're there, you're, you're among people who are sharing your story. It's just a brilliant service. It's there. I, I just feel like the staff that are involved in it are just... It's not like staff and service users, it's, it's like you get to know them and they join in the sessions with you and you, you get to build a good relationship but with them and I feel like I'm always telling people about the recovery college. Um, it, it's, it's definitely a, a good thing and I hope it's around for a while. I became very depressed. I wouldn't take antidepressants, um, I just used to drink too much. That's kind of like my introduction to Mersey Care, it was firstly by alcohol services support um, and from that I became a volunteer. Um, I became a volunteer on the recovery forums. Being involved with Mercy Care in various aspects as a volunteer and with the recovery college, I would say has changed my life and changed my outlook. And you make links and you make friendships. It's given me hope. You just don't know that taking that first step, how much your life can improve. I have a history of substance abuse and addiction. So my way of dealing with that was <laughs> to snort huge quantities of cocaine, mountains of cocaine, um, stick as much alcohol down my head as I possibly could. I, I mean, at the moment, I, I see the potential for long-term investment from me in the recovery college. Um, it's actually something I'd like to be more involved in, which uh, I didn't think I'd actually say about it. When, it, when this started, I mean, that wasn't on my mind, but it is now. Um, started mutilating myself really badly. My self-harming there went crazy. Times you think that you can't get out, you're literally in a hole and you can't see up and there's there's no light. Anyone can do it. I've, I've proved that I, I can do it. And I think if anyone wants to do it, they can. Um, and I just felt uncomfortable in my own skin. And I was fearful of life itself. And I didn't particularly want to be here. I wasn't in control of alcohol, it was in control of me. Once I took the first drink, I didn't know when to stop. I would advise anyone who suffers with any um, mental health issues to seek that support and seek that help. Um, and it's nothing to be ashamed about. You know, it's not a weakness by asking for help, it's strength. I am not the same girl I was many, many years ago. I've just, I honestly, I feel like I've been re reborn.